The William Flynn Show. So glad you accepted our invitation again, ladies and gentlemen, to be with William Flynn and the orchestra, Max Blake, Dorothy Cayford, and Harry Darkey and his esquires. This is Morris Callard, ready to keep the time and call the tune. Take one conductor, 25 players, two singers, and four harmony hunters, get them all in the home planning mood, and at a nod from the producer, they'll join forces to describe the perfect answer to the housing problem. When whippoorwills call And evening is nigh I hurry to my blue heaven I turn to the right A little white light Will lead me to my Smiling face, a fireplace, a cozy room, a little nest that nestles where the roses bloom. Just Molly and me, and baby makes three. We're happy in my blue. Just as well people don't live a couple of hundred years. Otherwise, old Londoners who once paused to listen to the tuneful cadenzas of the flower sellers would probably condemn Bill Flynn to the stocks for what he's about to do to Who'll Buy My Violets. <laughs>
We welcome Dorothy Caitlin, and we welcome the number she has for us. For it's another newcomer to the world of light music. If you like it that much, you'd better let me tell you about it. It has as its title, When Love Comes Stealing My Heart, and it was written by J. Carter Hogan of Melbourne. And as a contrast, here's a number from yesterday, not old enough to make it a museum piece, but sufficiently aged to make it nostalgic to some of us. Max Blake sings, Tomorrow is Another Day. The day is through, the sun descending has brought to you no happy ending, but you can face the setting sun and the sun, tomorrow is another day You've had your share of tears and trouble but every care will be a bubble if you can face the setting sun and sun A 
little tear must fall to make a smile break through. Today is gone, it's all behind you, a brighter dawn will surely find you if you can face the setting sun and sky. tribute to the patron saint of Tyler's Toes was Jumping Bean, and I'm not sure, but it may have been somewhat in the nature of a swan song of orchestral gymnastics, but I overheard the director telling Bill Flynn he wanted more simple, homespun stuff in future. I didn't think Bill would stand for it, but he has. He asked me today if I knew where he could swap a trunk full of samba and bolero band parts for a flannel shirt, a big hat, and an album of Outback songs. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Keep listening. Anything can happen from now on. In the meantime, Dorothy Caford sings What's Wrong With Me from The Kissing Bandit.
Harry Dargy and his esquires have caught that homespun fever already. Harry has just handed me this message written on one of his detachable celluloid cuffs, and I quote, Our number for this program is an old-fashioned folk song. It's called Down by the Station. Some people refer to it as a puffing hillbilly number. I hope the director likes it. End of quote. All right, Mr. Director, you asked for it. Down, down, down by the station early in the morning. See the little papa Billy's all in a row. See the station master turn the little handle. Chuck, chuck, doo, doo. We're on our way. The Aubrey Express leaving number one platform at 2.27 and a half will leave number three platform at 8.27 and a quarter. With Mrs. McMangle through the police call at the station master's office, he thinks he's lost. Down by the station early in the morning, listen to the hissing of the old big jack. See the diamond stoker warming up the smoker. Chug, chug, woo-woo, the track. Down by the station early in the morning Got my ticket ready for the 6.42 Standing there and yawning, waiting for the warning Chuck, chuck, woo-woo, that's my cue Down by the station early in the morning Grab a cup of coffee while I wait for the train Change another quarter, gotta pay the porter Chuck, chuck, woo-woo Hey, you guys, listen, just a minute. What? What's the matter? We're not finished yet. I know, but there's another 15 voices. We'll never get through them. Yes, you're quite right. There are 15 verses. Oh, that's far too many. I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, we'll sing one each all together. That's a very good idea, chum. Yes, I'm glad you like it. All right, after me. One, two, three, four. Down by the station early in the morning Listen down by the hissing of the old big jack See the diamond stoker warming up the smoker Chug and 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 chug Oh, shut up! I can't stand it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! These fellows will give an encore if you're not careful. And it's time for William Friend and the orchestra to play the Sydney Torch number, My Waltz for You.
we round the show off with William Flynn and the orchestra, Max Blake, Dorothy Cave, and Hori Dargi and the Esquires in that smooth Irving Berlin number, What'll I Do? What'll I do when you I do when I am wondering who is kissing you. What will I do? What will I do with just a photograph to tell my troubles to? When I'm alone. for being with us. This is Morris Callard inviting you to the next program with William Finn and the orchestra, Max Blake, Dorothy Cayford and Hurry Dargy and his Esquires. The show was produced by Alfred Potter and directed by Cedric Zahara.